really hoping I like this one a lot. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Hey guys, Josh and Clay here for another Whiskey Wednesday at Argonaut Wine and Liquor. Uh, today we're kind of keeping with our summer theme, doing um, a whiskey and then some kind of summery craft cocktails that we just brought in that we're super excited about. Mm -hmm. um, first thing we're going to do though is Smoke Wagon, a uh, new company to us out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. So far most of their juice is sourced, but um, it's from a source that people are really hot on right now. So um, it's just a cool one to try, so we thought we'd give it a shot. Get really classic notes on this one. Mm -hmm. I think you were totally right when you said right before the video that mm -hmm. uh, there's like a butter, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a butter consistency or a butter note on it. It's that, almost a little bit of both, you know, it's got yeah. that viscosity to it. Um, it's big, it's bold, it's got a little bit of spice, but really that kind of buttery, butterscotch note to it right in mm -hmm. the middle is really interesting actually. But. And, and you know, for the price point, only uh, on sale right now for $29.99, mm -hmm. super smooth, you know, not, not no bite, no, no. Um, nothing like that, really easy drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, at $29.99, that's, that's kind of a steal. Yeah. Um, and Smoke Wagon's been doing some other really cool things. Um, we had a, a single barrel with them that we sold out in an hour and a half. It was um, incredible how fast that one moved, but it yeah. was great too, so it made complete sense. Really good juice. Um, so really cool company, somebody somebody to kind of watch as, as they grow and change, and um, this is just a great bottle of whiskey for $30. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get another single barrel this in soon too. So Yeah, absolutely. Um, speaking of single barrels, uh, we don't have the sample with us right now, but just before this, we um, were with our friends from Laws, um, selected a cab cask barrel that uh, should be here sometime, hopefully this winter. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out for that. I was super excited about it. That one was really awesome. Cool. Yeah, it had like, yeah. a bunch of age on it too, which is interesting. You don't see that much age on the different finishes, but this one was right around like five, four years. I, kind of... I think I think she said five and a half years. Yeah, so uh -huh. definitely a lot of age. It's a very pronounced cab, and I'm really excited for those bottles to hit the store. That was really good. Yeah. Um, so up next, uh, we got Craft House Cocktails. Um, kind of the idea here is that um, it's like having one cocktail um, in a bottle, which is kind of cool. So at, I believe these are $5.99 right now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like instead of you know going to the bar, paying whatever, $10, $12 for a drink, mm -hmm. you got your one cocktail right here for $5.99. Yeah. Um, they're, all, they're all pretty high ABV. I mean, mm -hmm. um, looking at it, it looks like the lowest is... The Paloma at twelve and a half percent, so you're yeah. still getting bang for your buck on a cocktail for sure. I mean, it's in my mind, it's easily a couple of cocktails with that proof. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's delicious Paloma. It's actually got a little smoke to it, which is a little surprising. It's more like it tastes like some almost mezcal taste. Yeah. Um, yeah, really nice Paloma. I mean, that's I mean that, that's comparable to something you would get at a bar. Yeah. Uh, which which is really cool to see a bunch of these companies starting to do with craft cocktails to, mm -hmm. um, you know, canning and, and bottling cocktails that are like what you would get at a bar. Yeah, exactly. uh, so you can get, you know, that quality mm -hmm. at home by yourself, even if you're not as adept in, you know, mixology or making it yourself, mm -hmm. um, which is a really cool trend in our industry that I'm pretty stoked about. Yeah, and I know they don't disclose all of the spirits um, sources that they're using, but I know at least the rum they're using Plantation, which is probably my go-to like, everyday rum. Um, so they're definitely using high quality um, spirits for all their cocktails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this, this is a South Side. So made with London dry gin, natural mint flavors, and real citrus. 15.4% um, on this one, so just over 30% ABV, or 30, Sorry, 30 proof. <laughs> big, big uh, lime on the nose. Yeah, it's I mean, really close to like the Tom Collins. It's something like, you know, if you're out by the pool, of course, you know, golf course, anything like that. It'd be very good. Yeah. Um, and, you know, personally, I'm not a huge gin guy, but that's not like heavy juniper no, exactly. gin offensive at all. It's mm -hmm. really um, just a really light, easy drinking summer cocktail. 
Yeah, definitely leaning towards that, that trend of more citrus, floral flavored uh, forward tunes. Yep. All right, next up, we got a pineapple daiquiri. So this is um, made with pineapple infused aged rum, so plantation that we were mm -hmm. talking about. Yep. Um, real lime and aromatic bitters. Um, Yeah, that's delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I've been on a real daiquiri kick this summer. No shame in that whatsoever. <laughs> but that is delicious and refreshing. I'm not gonna lie at all. Yeah, that's that's super refreshing. I mean, the pineapple in it's awesome. Uh, there aren't many pineapple drinks you can make that don't go like way overboard on sweet. Exactly. Uh, and this this has got that right balance because it's mm -hmm. not just like pineapple. Um, it's like but, they still like to concentrate, you know? Right, it's not, well, it's not that, it's infused. Exactly. The, the, yeah. the rum is infused, and that's how you get the pineapple flavor. So I think that's a really kind of creative and cool way to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and also tastes great and, and isn't overly sweet. It's, it's very balanced. Exactly, yeah. It's almost got that kind of like agricole, funky style that would kind of apply more to more rum drinkers, so. All right, and then finally, We've got the Cap, uh, Craft House Smoky Margarita, made with Blanco Tequila, uh, Smoked Agave Spirit, and Real Lime. 13% um, ABV, so 26 proof. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping I like this one a lot. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Definitely get some of the smoke on the nose. Mm -hmm. So well, it doesn't say if it's a mezcal or if it's a smoked tequila. Way, but it, it reads like yeah. a mezcal, like a classic smoky mezcal. So, mm -hmm. and this is one of my favorite cocktails to get, but like a mezcal margarita. Exactly, a good mezcal margarita is one of my favorite things. And this is just like you would get at a bar. Uh, really, you know, high quality stuff. I mean, tastes great. Mm -hmm. I would pound a bunch of those by a pool for sure. It's not about smoke and citrus; it just works so well together. Re yeah, it really goes well. Yeah. Um, so. Craft House, um, new line of craft cocktails we brought in, um, five ninety nine right now. Check check for them at our uh, brand new. We have drink cool, uh, RTD ready to drink coolers um, right by the front of the store, right as you walk in on the right. Um, there's going to be four coolers there that'll have these and all our craft cocktails in them. Um, also, if you guys like these videos, uh, check them out uh, on our new YouTube page, Argonaut or youtubecom slash liquor. Um, we're going to be doing uh, some cool stuff on there as well as uh, here on Facebook. Um, but come on down, give these a shot. Cheers. Cheers.